everyone. I'm Nitika Sridhar, Assistant Vice President at Ikra Limited, and through this podcast, I'll be sharing the key highlights from our recently released note in which we analyze the trends in weighted average cost and weighted average maturity of state government securities issued in FY23. In FY23, 26 state governments and two union territories issued gross securities worth Rs 7.6 trillion. This was 8% higher on a YOY basis. However, the actual issuances were lower than the amount indicated to the RBI by 24% or by Rs 2.4 trillion with lower borrowings in each of the four quarters of FY23. The weighted average cost of the state government securities increased by 73 basis points to 7.71% in FY23 from FY22. This reflected the interest tightening cycle by the MPC which started from May of 2022. The weighted average cutoff of the less than 10 year segment increased by 109 basis point and that of the 10 year tenor increased by 70 basis point relative to their levels in FY22. The greater than 10 year segment exhibited a relatively lower increase of 62 basis points in FY23. The higher increase in the short term weighted average cutoff compared to the rise in the weighted average cutoff of the greater than 10 year segment led to a flattening of the curve. However, if we see the spread between the weighted average cutoffs of the 10 year state government paper and the 10 year GSEC, that declined to 37 basis points in FY23. This was lower than the weighted average spread of 63 to 75 basis points that we have seen during FY20 to FY22. Among the top borrowers, weighted average cost of issuances by Rajasthan, Gujarat, Maharashtra and Bihar rose by a steep 80 to 100 basis point in FY23 relative to FY22. While for most of the other state governments, they saw an increase of 60 basis points to 71 basis point in their weighted average cost in FY23 relative to FY22. As far as the tenor-wise borrowing trends are concerned, nearly 55% of the total issuances in FY23 was in the more than 10-year segment. This is higher than 25-45% to share that we have seen during recent years. The preference for higher issuances in the longer tenor papers in FY23 compared to the recent years reflects the relatively sharper increase in the short-term interest rates than in the long-term interest rates. Not only that, we think that the highly front-ended redemption profile of the stock of state government securities is also likely to have encouraged some states to issue securities with a longer tenor in FY23. The weighted average maturity of state government securities in FY23 stepped up to 14 years from 11 years in FY20, while that of GSEC remained stable at 16 years. Among the key borrowers, Rajasthan, Punjab and Kerala meaningfully increased their weighted average maturity by 5 to 7 years in FY23 compared to FY22, while the weighted average maturity of issuances by Andhra Pradesh and Telangana declined by 4 years while remaining elevated. Overall, the weighted average maturity of issuances by Kerala and Tamil Nadu in FY23 was the highest at 20 years, contrasting with below 10-year weighted average maturity of issuances by Maharashtra, Gujarat and Haryana in FY23. Overall, based on our expectations of flatter yield curve and tighter liquidity conditions in FY24, we expect states to continue to prefer longer tenor issuances, stretching the weighted average maturity of state government securities in FY24 as well. Thank you for listening and stay tuned for our upcoming podcast.